The ANC in Gauteng is expected to brief uh, the media today on its decision about the recommendations of the Provincial Integrity Commission report on the PPE tender scandal. The PIC was investigating alleged involvement of presidential spokesperson Kusela Digo, Gauteng Health MEC Dr. Bandile Masuku, his wife, the MMC for Group Corporate and Shared Services Loiso Masuku in PPE tender corruption. The trio took leave of absence as they were being investigated. The PAC met until late last night, deliberating on the findings of the report. All right, so our SABC News reporter Samkela Maseko joins us now live on the line to talk about this issue. A very good afternoon to you, Samkela. Thank you so much for coming through. So we know that the PIC met until late last night, deliberating on the findings of the report. What else do we know on this matter? At this point in time, what we know is that uh, the TEC of the ANC deliberated until late in the evening yesterday on the report of uh, the Provincial Integrity Commission. As we speak now, the TEC is still in session. It was uh, adjourned yesterday evening at about 10, and uh, they reconvened this morning at 10 o'clock uh, to further deliberate on this PIC report, uh, its recommendations and findings on, on Loi Somasubu, uh, the wife of MEC of Fahal uh, Fabandila Masubu in the province of the spokesperson of President Silva Maposa Kusela Tiko. Essentially, this PEC meeting will decide the political futures of uh, these uh, three leaders of the ANC in Gauteng on whether they should step down as members of uh, the Provincial Executive Committee in Gauteng and also in their government uh, responsibilities uh, here in Gauteng. We do know that Louis Omasu is the Deputy Regional Secretary of the ANC in uh, the city of Johannesburg in that particular region and she's also the MMC of uh, Shared uh, Group uh, Corporate Services and uh, Kusela Tiko is the spokesperson of President Ramaphosa, also sits in the PEC and PWC of the ANC in Gauteng. So effectively, their political futures are on the line depending on what was the recommendation of the Integrity Commission of the ANC on whether they should be removed from their government duties or there was no wrongdoing found on their part. We do know that in the instance of the ANC of House Bandile Masubu, there was no con uh, final conclusion on whether there was uh, any wrongdoing from his part when it comes to the awarding of this particular tender of 127 million to a royal factor. Uh, he was cleared of any wrongdoing with that aspect. But uh, the Integrity Commission did find him wanting on the issues of uh, oversight, uh, oversight of governance and procurement in the Department of Health. All right, so many political analysts are saying that it's going to be a very difficult one for the ANC in the province as this might spell uh, the divisions within the party. You, you've been in, interacting with uh, a number of figures. I remember on Friday you spoke to PEC member Labuham Maile, but over the weekend you also spoke to uh, the provincial secretary regarding this issue. What sense did you get from um, all the people that you've been speaking to? It, there is a sense that uh, they, uh, this may exacerbate the political uh, differences of affection within the ANC in Gauteng, but it will also uh, may give and present the party an opportunity to stem out what they perceive as corruption when it comes to the awarding of these particular co uh, contracts of PPEs. But uh, they are seemingly in a conundrum where there is an issue of uh, why uh, this particular issue, there's no corruption that has been seemingly found. You've got the SIU that is investigating this particular matter in the province uh, of uh, tender corruption. That report is also due to be uh, given to the president and to the premier of the province, David Makura. We do know that the NSC of Health Bandile Masu did state that uh, he is the one who initiated the SIU investigation into uh, tender corruption in the Department of Health. So the fractions will always be there, but it's also a matter of uh, actually finding out what was the, the supply chain problems, supply chain problems, the procurement problems that were there in the Department of Health in the province that effectively led to the resignation of uh, the Chief Financial Officer within all right. that particular department. Okay, all right. Uh, Sam Keller, we need to come out of that conversation. We'll certainly be in touch with you because we need to go to New York now. As I